Panic disorder is three times more common in those who have vestibular disorders than those who do not. For context, vestibular disorders refers to a part of the inner ear involved in the balance mechanism. The vestibular system involves a lot of things, including eye movements, but that may be a simple way to think of it. Nonetheless, panic attacks are the number one reason why people go to the emergency room, oftentimes when scientists study reasons for visiting the ER. Panic attacks are very, very scary, as the name implies. Oftentimes, there's a feeling of dread. There can be associated tachycardia, numbness in the extremities and around the mouth, and a host of other symptoms. So why does this happen in vestibular disorders? There's a part of the brain called the insula, and it's oftentimes considered a forgotten lobe of the brain. It's on the inner surface of the brain, and it involves, it involves a lot of interoception, i.e. bodily sensations that we may not be thinking about. The insula lots of times is working in concert with other sensory areas of the brain, including areas involving vestibular or inner ear sensation. And when there's an imbalance or a lack of sensation coming from the inner ear, it's thought to lead to this abnormal push-pull relationship with the insula for all intents and purposes. And perhaps that's the reason why panic attacks are much more prevalent in those who have inner ear pathology. Another example showing how intertwined our nervous system, our inner ear, other sensory organs are all together and if you have questions on this, let me know. Dr. Randall Gates, board certified chiropractic neurologist, chiropractic physician from Advanced Imaging Reno and Gates Brain Health.